Hello guys, whoever is watching, guys and girls. So sitting here in the in in, in my car and uh, after I drop my kid here at school, sometimes I just come here and relax because everybody's still quiet inside. Any guys, today I want to talk about um, evidence for existence versus evidence of existence and what what is the difference you know so and what does that and what happens and what can you use it for if you know that okay when i talk about existence in this case i'm talking about um you know existence of some supreme being that created everything and uh you know it's a it's a ramadan and many people are fasting and holy and even christians also have their holy things and there are many religious battles about which religion is correct and all that but firstly before we can even go into all that i always say we need to think about the two things i mentioned first and what is evidence for existence in my opinion so firstly this video is just my opinion, okay, and my thoughts and how I have to figure these things out. I'm no expert or don't claim that I know the correct way, but for me, this is my logic. And evidence uh, for existence means that things in the world or anything in the universe that you can see that kind of points to... to, to uh, that makes the probability of things happening to be a low um okay i got jumbled up let me just try it again what i mean it is anything that looks so like it has a very low probability of happening for example uh, the formation of carbon on the sun in nuclear uh, reactions it, the, the probability that it even happened is very low so so some people will say Oh, that is proof that that uh, existence must be you know exist because things could not just happen randomly or so uh, like you know without a cause or a, a design or anything so this I would say these kind of things and some people would use like religious text and and say that oh how could uh, the the religious text predicts such scientifically accurate things so long ago, like 15 centuries ago. So this must be pure evidence for the existence of some superior being. Now, on the other side, existence of a being is something else to get evidence for this. Um, so, example, how do I, like, if I want existence of a dog, okay, I need to experience a dog, like hear it, smell it, see it, or whatever and um in the same way to ex to 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 have evidence of of a god you need to experience this god in some way you know not just in your mind or some dream because this could just be i don't know who knows why why you dream and experience things and some people have some magic miracles happening but this is not experience of the god a miracle but it's experience of something that happened and you don't understand it so any case long story for me mm, to look at evidence for uh, uh, existence I, I look at anything and anything on this universe or in this universe a, any object or anything depends on other things for example coal coal is made of carbon Carbon is made of atoms, atoms is made of protons, and so on and so on. So this and every piece in this in this chain for the for the comp, uh, um, construction or whatever coal is made of depends on something else. And and if everything depends on something else, then this is what people say, or oh, scientifically they say it's an infinite regression because all the things in the loop is dependent on something else and this can never uh, lead to any any real thing because maybe there is nothing 
in the end. For example, if I say I'm going to uh, give my daughter a coin if my boss gives me a coin and he will give and he's getting the coin from someone else and the, and he will get it from someone else and, and he will get it from someone else and if all these people you know where's the start because in the end is there even a coin but the fact is all these objects do exist in the in the world like i exist i'm here i'm talking and and everything in my body depends or even on something else so my my uh, leap of faith i would say that because i say it's a leap of faith because i can't prove this i would say that um, for for me or anything to exist that's dependent it needs to have something that's independent okay to exist otherwise there's no no start there's nothing going to happen and now if you look at what is something what is independent independent um for something to be independent it is it needs to have no no definition or, or like it's not defined with within boundaries for because then it's going to depend on on the space you know to have a, a a size or a place or anything it also has to be timeless to be independent it also needs to have knowledge not knowledge it needs to know everything not have knowledge because if it, if it if it only knows a little then it's dependent on something else to get more knowledge so to to be so to be independent you need it depends on many things and and um now once once something is independent how can you in this universe experience what something is that independent what is something that's independent what is something that has no boundaries that has no dimensions nothing because it needs to be like this because otherwise it will depend on something else and and just be like all the other things so i say it's impossible for for me in this universe to to experience anything that is independent because uh, everything in this universe my thoughts my feelings my what people call my spiritual whatever stuff it's all it's all dependent on something else so that's something that thing that creates has to be in my opinion independent and it's not in this world and it's impossible to get evidence of this because i wouldn't even know if it's i wouldn't even know uh, that that I'm seeing this something because I don't even know what I'm looking for, you know, it's impossible. So, to get back to the point, so so in the end, people uh, uh, make a leap of faith and decide, like me, I made a leap of faith and decide there's something independent must exist, you know. And and in essence, if, if you, faith basically means there's no way of proving or getting definite evidence of the existence of the something and so because of that there's no point in arguing which religion is correct or which faith is correct because it's all based on something unprovable so so what does this lead me to is that there's no point in, in um, people should just respect each other's belief under the condition that as long as their belief or their, 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 their worship system does not affect uh, anyone else in an in abusive or oppressive way. And then it's okay. So we can just respect each other what they believe. As long as their belief is not going to hurt me or anyone else or anything else, then it's fine. So there's no point fighting about, oh, okay, my religion says that we must do this and we must do that and it's better because of this and that no because all of it is in essence based on faith is it's a belief on something you you can never prove you cannot prove without a doubt you know you cannot experience the existence of of that something that independent something in this universe so a message to all those people that like to fight about uh, religion and mine is better than yours it's faith huh? faith cannot be proven
So just respect each other and don't hurt. That that's it. Thank you guys. That's my thought year after I'm dropping my key to sitting in the car.